things are popping. I feel the Delphi way. We're gonna drop it. Drop on all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand. Spinners, gentlemen, front and center. You never know what's going to happen to you when you step up here on this. This isn't even a stage, is it? This, this floor. I noticed when I went in your dressing room, the shoes are all laid out in a row. The uniforms are all pressed. The choreography is perfect. Seriously, we usually horse around when I get together with you. What's the secret of your survival? Is it organization like that, even backstage? Well, over the years, um, we pattern ourselves, you know, to try to be together. And even like uh, from the beginning, we like uh, try to be an organization together, you know, at all times. And I think, yeah, over the years, it's kind of paid off. Yeah. Who is the slob in the group? They looked at each other. Because when when I saw that lined up back there, I said, "This is an organization. This is the reason they have survived all the well, trends you know, and in stuff." The old, old days, uh, you know, our policy was always to be ready to go, yeah. no matter what happened at an engagement or you know, we used to play rough places. So we always had the policy: be ready to go. You mean ready to leave? <laughs> no, I was addressing my attention. I have never heard anybody ever say, and this is not true of everybody in this business. You were always on time. Have you ever been late? Uh, I must say, uh, I'm not bragging or anything, but we've never been late, or have we ever missed uh, an engagement? And that's uh, just one of the things that we've always uh, tried to do. Uh, Harvey Fuqua, the Moon Glows, taught us that. He says, even if you get there an hour or two early, that's good than to be 10 minutes late. I wish more people adhere to that, nor has Purvis ever sounded like a tenor, <laughs> is the other thing. No, fact, You're going, I sir? We've only had uh, one cancellation. I think that's the time that my Martin Luther King got killed. And we had a cancel engagement, but that was, I think it was the only cancellation we ever had. No wonder you guys are a solid business. You're going to Europe. When's it happen? Well, I believe that uh, the projected date for departure is the uh, 2nd of November, and we should be over there in, uh, I guess, we'd be there for about two and a half weeks, England, Holland, Germany, and we just found out recently we're headed for uh, Australia on the, uh, well, I don't know the exact date, but sometime in February next year. They'll give you a list before then, I'm sure. Your date before that in October is closer by in this country. Where's that? Well, uh, we're going to be playing uh, Westchester the 4th of October, and... Uh, well, you know, like I, I don't really read my itinerary. We're going to Texas. And then, you know, when you're moving around like that, it's hot. <laughs> Is he continually living in a daze? Well, he always remembers the New York area because the management and everything is there. And we always have a good time. The people always come out and see us in uh, Westchester and all around New Jersey. Gentlemen, and, uh, thank I'm sorry. One last word. They're, they're waving frantically. Ray Goodman and Brown is also going to be on that show at Westchester uh, with us, so we're looking forward. They tore it up here. Gentlemen, you scatter yourselves about here, and let's do a thing that sold a couple of records along. Just a couple. thing called Cupid. Ladies and gentlemen, the Spinners! <laughs>